Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. It's so great to be here with you today. I thank you so much uh, for joining me on this fine Friday morning. So today we're going to be using Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete strikes yet again and this time it is A&E Ariana and Evans Frozen Mojitos. And the scent on this is terrific. It is a, it's got some good uh, citrus zip, so it's like lime, some mint, uh, and rum. Sort of like the, uh, actually very much like the uh, Mojitos drink, which is a terrific drink if you've ever had it. Smells great. You know the, the, the soap quality is going to be good. Um, this is one of those soaps that contains really nice ingredients like goat's milk and shea butter and kokum and mango but it's one of those um, soaps that I would say has the super blue emu the dragon tallow the uh, uh, I forget the other one, ch chupacabra oil so it has good ingredients in it so you know the quality is going to be good the price on this if you're a club member is under uh, four dollars an ounce so that puts it in uh, thumbs up territory there so good cost we expect the quality to be very good that was the PAA um, cube that you saw there, the pre-shade cube, which we're slapping on. Then we're going to get to lathering here as to not waste too much time. I really appreciate you folks uh, coming by every single day. And if you're new, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Um, recently, I've seen, you know, a, a few channels where, and let me, let me say this, uh, let me be very clear about this. I'm not being critical of, of other channels. I just want to highlight sort of a difference is, um, I've seen some channels where, you know, they make mention of the fact that they don't care if you leave, you know, they don't care if you're upset. Uh, I do care. I want you to continue uh, coming back. Now that said, I'm always going to do what I want to do, but I will listen. And uh, you guys are giving me your time, which is a very valuable thing, and I appreciate it. And so I do care. I don't want you to unsubscribe. I want you to keep coming back. And uh, I try to keep you in mind first and foremost when I'm making this content. So thank each and every one of you. I really appreciate it, and I cannot thank you enough. Now, the razor today, I'm going to be trying my own edge on the Izuku. I went back and did some work on it. Now, one thing I want to mention is um, I realized that after I got it most of the way up, the heel of this blade is not as good. I can tell it's not. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. And if need be, I'll switch to the stallion uh, edge that I have on standby. This is straight razor shave, like number 42 or 43. I'll put it in the title. But thank you so much for coming by. We have some things to discuss Today again, this is my edge, and I used. Um, if you're interested in the progression, I used the Shaptons on the way up, and then I finished it on the Azuku, which is the Japanese natural stone I got from the Chief. Uh, go check out the Chief. Oh yeah, this is actually nice. All right, this is way better than when I tried it yesterday. So I have done far better this time around. And I know right now, I already know the heel needs work. And yet it's shaving pretty nicely. So I'm I'm very pleased uh, with this. I want to mention the stallion. Anthony Esposito has been doing some tutorial honing videos and he's going to do a live coming up, I think Sunday. So please check those out if you're able, if you're interested in honing. I'm really excited about all the new people honing and straight razor shaving. I think that's super cool. As you know, it's, it's really fun for me and I'm getting a lot of messages below where people have been inspired to try it and that makes me super happy. Um, keeping this timeless tradition alive is just fantastic and I thank each and every one of you. If you are learning straight razor shave or hone, please comment below. I wanna hear about your experience because again I do care what you have to say and I do appreciate very nice um, I do appreciate your time and I'm not going to invite you to leave <laughs> the one thing I was telling someone the other day is never invite people to leave because you invite them to leave and they will leave and I've done it in the past so 
I can tell you from my mistakes. You don't want to invite people to leave and you don't want to tell people you don't care because you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be wanting people to watch your channel. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to change everything you do as a result of it. But we care. Or at least I do. Man, I am so happy with this edge. Ah, man. I was worried. <laughs> um, I was worried that it wasn't going to be good and that you know, I know Corey had some problems getting the edge to his liking on the Izuku. So I'm like, man, you know, he's put in a lot of work and uh, Corey, the chief. And uh, I know he's a, you know, he's a perfectionist. And so I know when he's working on something, he's going to put his heart into it. And so when I sort of missed yesterday with it, I thought I might be in for, in for some trouble learning this stone, but I must say, my second effort is far better than the first. I'm super happy. I'm gonna shave all the way through with this blade because uh, it's my edge. Shafton 1000, 5000, 8000, 12000, and then to the Izuku. That was my progression. And many people do it differently. Many people only go up to 5000, then they go to finish. Some people go to eight, some people go to 12. Some people use a lot of different stones, so. I'm really happy about that. Super, super, super happy about that. And again, I thank you for enjoying this with me. This is really enjoyable <laughs> for me, as I hope you uh, can tell, because I'm really enjoying it. And honestly, I'm just so thankful that you all keep coming by. Um, I've been sort of reflecting on that and in my years doing this and not always doing it in a positive way, ranting and being upset and going through difficult periods of my life and and many of you have come back, and I, I thank you. Many of you are new, and I thank you. I, I thank all of you. One thing I want to mention is we are we are moving in on that 5,000 sub number, and uh, I have a pretty good giveaway. There's a video for it. I will uh, put a link to it up there in the corner. Um, so check that out. And if you're not subscribed, I ask you to do so and uh, watch the videos that you like. And certainly if you don't want to watch every one of them, I understand. I put out a lot of content. I'm a high energy and high effort guy. That's just the way I like to do things. And I know not everyone can catch every video, but I appreciate all the time that you give me. And so thank you so much. And I'm not going to invite you to leave. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you I don't care. Uh, that's just me. That's my perspective. And I have done those things in the past, so, but I've learned better. So thanks so much. It means the world to me that, that you guys keep coming back and enjoying this experience with me. Man, oh man, oh man, am I happy about this edge. I can't tell you how happy I am. I'm very excited today. And I was nervous about it, to be honest, because honestly, I just didn't know if I, and I know this one part of the heel on one side needs work. I can tell. Let me give you a tip for those of you who are honing, learning to hone. Um, let me finish this up here. Look at your loop after each stone, especially this is particularly the case with the 1000, like when you're setting the bevel, make sure you look. I didn't look, and then later I found out, ooh, I should have done a better job on the heel. I could have fixed that problem early on. And once you get well beyond it, you're not gonna be able to fix it with the upper stones. Or not easily anyway. So, when you are working on those, uh, Initial stones, make sure, at least for the first couple of stones, keep an eye on it because you'll get to the end like me and you've spent quite a bit of time and effort and then realize, oh lordy, I should have done a better job. All right. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 
So this is by no means the best uh, blade I've ever used, best edge, but it's perfectly serviceable. And I know I can do a lot better, but this, I'm, I'm real happy to be using this new stone. And getting some results with it early on. It's extremely gratifying, both the shave and getting that edge on there. And folks who haven't done it, they probably listen and like, I'm tired of these guys, <laughs> you know. Uh, glowing over their edges, but when you do it, to me, the ultimate edge um, is the one that you put on your razor and you enjoy. If you can do that, I think just the idea that you've uh, done it yourself, you know, means a lot. And so it certainly means a lot to me. And so I'm really enjoying this today. So let's talk about this soap. Soap quality, terrific. Soap scent, terrific. Um, so what I would say about Pete Charkellis, and I know Pete Charkellis uh, personally, I've broken bread with him before. Um, he is a great guy. He pushes the envelope on labeling and, you know, he really goes for it. He does take risks. Um, he has a similar scenting style, but he does take risks. Um, the one thing that I would say about uh, Pete, first of all, if you're not in the club, I think it's a terrific value if you're going to buy a lot of A&E products. Um, the area of improvement for Pete, for me, it's not in products. These products are phenomenal. This is not the Kaizen base, this is the last base, but it's still excellent, it's outstanding, it's a top rung base in its own right. The shipping and fulfillment needs work. And again, I say that with love, um, because I, I like Pete, but if it were another artisan, would I cut them slack? No, I would not. And so Pete, I can't do it with you. <laughs> you know, I got, I'm here for my viewers, and I gotta say, the shipping needs some work. Uh, it is not particularly fast. Uh, there's been a lot of confusion over orders and not knowing whether orders have went out. And Pete is working. I know he's working to improve it, so I don't want to don't want to completely poo-poo it. But let's be honest: the standards on shipping here in the United States. Now, if you're in Europe, it's a totally different ballgame. But it used to be most every artisan. Most every artisan got them out the same day or no later than the next. So within three to four days, you had your product in hand. Nowadays, a lot of them have slipped to a week or better before you have product in hand. And we've allowed that to happen because we don't demand better. And so what I'm doing today is I'm demanding that Pete do better at shipping. And I know he's working on it. So I expect there will be improvement. But I'm going to keep talking about it until I see an improvement. <laughs> And so hopefully that will be beneficial for us all because we want these products in our hands as quickly as possible. Do we need them? No. We just want them because they're great. And so this soap, by the way, I mean, it's really awesome. It gives you that nice summer, you know, burst. But anyway, Pete, if you're watching, and I, I know you are, work on the shipping. And we've talked about this a little bit. I know he is. And so I, know, I probably sound like I'm giving him a hard time. It is top rate, A plus products, A plus labels, A plus price relative to other premium offerings. Shipping, C minus, and shipping and fulfillment, C minus. Um, for me, comment below if you believe that is the case for you and tell me what you think about Pete's products generally. If you've tried them, let me know what you think. I think they're top flight, top rung, he has definitely worked on his craft. He started out as a hobbyist like the rest of us. And uh, he transitioned to being a vendor. And it's been a really a fantastic transition in terms of how he's learned to make product. He has become one of the best. There's no question in my mind that Kaizen 
It's one of the best soaps on the planet in terms of formula, in terms of quality. It is just fantastic. And I know it's receiving a lot of hype, but rightly so. Uh, other soaps receive hype like this too. Uh, milk steak, you know, uh, but the Barrister Man Excelsior. You pick one, um, but Kaizen is a top top flight. Um, well, be careful. I was raising my arm to stretch and I hit the razor and almost hit myself. So please be careful with that. So one thing about straight razor shaving, it requires focus at all times. You have to be on your game. And you know me, I don't like dead air at all, but I have to shut up every once in a while while using a straight razor. I'm sure many of you probably appreciate that. They're like, good, he shut up for a minute. See, once again, when I'm stretching here a little bit, just be careful not to hit that the scales of that razor, which I almost did, you know, earlier. I've almost done that a couple times, so I've been lucky. Man, oh man, oh man. I am just so happy about this edge. And uh, I got to thank the Chief for, for selling me that Izuku at a really good price. Thank you, Chief. Um, I really appreciate it. I got something else special coming from the Chief that I couldn't pass up on, but we'll wait to show it when it arrives. Um, so check out the Chief. Really, uh, he's, he's one of those channels that's growing very, very quickly. Um, he's doing a great job. Man, phenomenal. Outstanding shave today. So, hang in there. Please stay tuned, because we got a little post action to talk about. Stick with me. All right, back with our Lancaster towel. Lancaster razor works. So, we, uh, we are back today with our uh, ice cube treatment, Melly Mel style. This is skin bracer. Skin Bracer, doesn't smell anything like Fresno Mojitos. I just wanted to use Skin Bracer. This is Skin Bracer. Um, it's not really melt, uh, frozen as much as it should be because I just, I didn't put it in long enough, but it's Skin Bracer, Witch Hazel, and Water. And I tell you what, this ice rub on hot days, like today, it's not really hot yet, but it's going to be, feels fantastic. This one's melting pretty fast because again, it's only been in there a short time, maybe uh, two hours. So it's not super solid. Feels great. Let's warm up. Let's cool up the dome a little bit. You know, you lose most of your heat um, in the wintertime off your head. I don't know if people know that, but uh, that's why people wear hats a lot in the wintertime. Anyway, let me wipe, wipe off my hands there a little bit. Oh man, those, that ice cube rub that, I call it the shave three, two, six, the Melly Mel, Shave 326 uh, post with a twist. <sighs> Fantastic. And I just froze, again, Skin Bracer, uh, Witch Hazel, and water. Uh, I want to mention, before I rinsed, or after I rinsed, I did use the alum on my face off cam to see if I had a lot of stinging, just checking that edge to see if it was rough, almost no stinging. So, man, I got to tell you, I am so happy about the edge I was able to put on this razor with the Shap Shaptons and the Izuku. Um, thanks so much, Stallion, for help, for so much help. I really appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you. Uh, thanks so much. Thanks to everyone else who's helped. Thank you to the Chief for selling me the Izuku. So, okay, here we go with the wrap. This is a and &E Frozen Mojitos. Big thumbs up. I love the scent. I love the performance. Stellar. We use the Ariana and Evans synthetic brush, by the way. I love this brush. I think you might still have some in the Shaving Shop Club. Love that long handle, love the design. I love everything about Peter Charcalis, except for his shipping. So <laughs> comment below uh, on what you do like about uh, A&E and Pete's product and what you don't, so we, he can use that feedback. Thanks so much 
for enjoying the shave with you with <laughs> I'm tongue twisted because I'm excited. Thanks so much for enjoying the shave with me. I really appreciate it. I can't thank you enough for stopping by. Until next time, I want to remind you I'm CDB. Listen, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.